Glass is one of the hardest thing to cut out unless you know this trick. You ever have a wine glass with some liquid in it? And this is the background I want to add the glass to. I'm gonna right click, convert this to a smart object, go here to the top, click on select, subject, go down here to the right, select the mask, and I'm just move the glass up just a little bit. Now I'm gonna make three copies. So I'm gonna do control J one, two, three times. I'm gonna rename this liquid. Second layer will be highlights. Third layer will be shadows. The fourth will be the casting shadow. Now I'm gonna disable everything except for the shadow. So I'm gonna work from this layer up. Now let's change the blending mode to multiply. And let's do control L, bring up the levels and just make the highlights a little bit brighter. Kind of like that, click OK. Now let's enable the highlights and change the blending mode to screen. Do the same thing, control L to bring up the levels. And this time we're gonna darken the shadow. So kind of like that, click OK. Now we're gonna enable the liquid. Select the liquid mask, select B for brush and make sure this is black, click OK. And for this one, I'm just bring the hardness all the way up, bring the size down just a little bit. And we're just gonna brush out the parts that's not liquid. All right, now let's go down to the casting shadow. Let's enable that. Select the mask. Let's do control I to invert it. Change this to multiply. And we'll do the same thing. Control L, bring up the highlights like that. Click OK. Select B for brush. Make sure that's black. And make sure the hardness all the way down. And we're gonna brush that out. So we just keep in the shadow right there. Now to make the highlights and the shadow match the background, all you have to do is go down here to the background Make a copy, do control J, bring this above all the image, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and do about 147, just click OK. Change the blending mode to soft light, hold control, select the glass mask, and select the top layer, select the mask, and right now it's too dark, so I'm gonna select the image like that, do control L, and just bring up the midtones like that. Now you can see the highlights match the highlights in the back, so that's the before, after, 